The reason people like me so much as a coach is because I don't just tell them, hey, do this, do that. I don't look at myself as, uh, as a coach in the sense that I look at somebody and I'm like, hey, you need to do this now. That's, some, that's a part of my job. But what I really like about it and how this applies to you is that I look into people's past, into people's personalities. So I can look into how you lived your life, what sort of decisions you made in this last year, uh, what happened to you, how does your life look, and I can easily decipher for you why it went the way it went. So when you look at your life, you probably see this random uh, combination of events and you don't really know why everything happened or you know, what, why you made certain decisions, why you felt a certain way. And what I can do is very easily um, sort of decipher like the major arcs, the major themes of what made you um, create all those results. And what you'll find often is that it's not a lot of decisions. It's not like many separate variables and decisions. It's usually one to maybe three really, really big key things in your life that you're doing very right, or if you're talking to me, then probably very wrong, that caused the, your life to look this way. So for example, I've had a call just today uh, with a potential client, and his problem was that his life went up and down like that. And so I was able to apply all the various concepts that I use and explain to him in a level of knowing, like, oh, I know now <laughs> why everything happened and sort of to create a full model of how to change that. So I don't study the past because I care about the past. I study the past because I want to know why I did what I did or didn't do what I wanted to do and how can I uh, fix that next time. So if I don't know why it happened in the past, I won't know how to change it in the future. And I'm honestly surprised when I see people uh, that don't look into their past, that just accept life, you know, as it is. Like, oh, yeah, this happened, that happened, you know, who, who gives a fuck? <laughs> or even if uh, it's, not, it's not like, hey, I don't give a fuck. It's like, yeah, I don't know why it happened. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's like... It, Look, if you don't know why something happened in your past, and again, you don't have to be smart in the moment. You can be smart in, ret smart in retrospect. If you don't, can explain what happened, if you can't do it, then you won't be able to predict the future. The only way for you to predict the future is to know why the past happened so that you don't repeat it. So make sure that your life is filled with as much knowingness as possible so that you'll better know yourself. And I talk about this a lot in, uh, indirectly in my videos by explaining how you have to know yourself. So you can study books that will explain to you in small details, like here and there or in certain areas of life, why you did specific things you did. Uh, you can do courses, for example, the courses I took at Scientology really, really helped me. Like these, they really like focus on that, like <laughs> why you did what you did and very insightful. Or you could contact a coach and a coach will, not every coach of course, but, but a coach like me, for example, is like uh, an archaeologist and I look at what you've done. Not in, not in, you know, 100 sessions, but in 20 minutes. And I have to intuitively understand why you did what you did and explain to you um, step by step, kind of build, build a model, because I have many models, but the proper model that fits you of how your decisions were made. And then you regain that sense of control in your life because you know you can now predict the future because you know oh if I do this now then this will happen in the future if I do that then this will happen and the future becomes more than just a, 
a hope or a wish it becomes a prediction so again uh, the message of the video if I'll summarize it in a couple of words is that to be able to predict the future you have to understand the past once you understand the past you know the future that's it <laughs> um, this is one of those topics that I really could have elaborated a lot more but they're off the cuff so um, if you want to know more about the subject you can ask me specific questions in the comments below and I can elaborate either in comments or via video uh, to kind of make it more specific and in any case you know if you like this video like it and subscribe if you haven't thanks for watching